Welcome back, this is Joe Samo from San Diego. You can hit the pause button if you want to calculate X on your own and then we'll try it together. I hope you tried it on your own. Let's see if you got it right. We have five to the two X plus one equals square root of five over 125. We want to put all of these exponential numbers on the same base and it looks like five would be the best one. So we have five to the two X plus one. That's the most simplified version there. Square root of five, if you look at that square root of five, square root of any number is just like that number to the one half, meaning that square root of five is just like five to the one half. Now 125 is, let's see, it's like five times 25 and it's like 25 is like 5 times 5. So 20, 125 is 5 times 5 times 5 or 5 cubed, 5 to the 3. Put 5 cubed here. What I did to solve this is the following. This number on the left, we can keep it as is. So we have 5 to the 2x plus 1 equals. Whenever you have here, if we, if we go back to this one really quick, Whenever we have a number divided by another number with the same base, then we could just subtract the exponents. All we have to do there is subtract one half by three, and that would equal negative two half, two and a half, right? So, so, so this one would be five to the negative two and a half. Now, just by the way, just to help you out. So if, for example, if we had six cubed, over six to the sixth, okay? That would be three minus six. That would be like six to the negative third. So we, now we go back to our equation. Uh, we have five to the two x plus one equals five to the negative two and a half. Because the bases are the same, they're both five, we could just set the exponents equal to each other and we could just have two x plus one equals negative two and a half. We could just subtract one each side. Then we get two X equals negative three and a half. All right, let's simplify that, simplify two X. Negative three and a half is just like negative seven halves. And then we multiply one half to each side. That way we get rid of the two there. So then we, we get X equals, and then negative seven times one is negative seven and two times two is four, and that's the answer. X equals negative seven fourths, and there you go. I'll keep making more of these, so subscribe if you wanna see them, and keep on practicing.